Okay. So we're going to We're going to, uh, there's a, uh, a little uh, insert as we know, that is the ladder. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this with a little Steiner Res primer. dry and then this is our infamous wooden deck so I'm going to hit this with a little primer first I'm going to go with a black um, this mat this Steiner res is is quite good for things like this because um, it gets into all the nooks and crannies and um, it's going to allow us to to age and weather this so that's pretty good and while I'm here since I don't want to waste I've been I've been putting a little bit of this uh, on the boat uh, it's just primer so no harm no foul but I don't want to waste it so I might as well just clean it up okay so I'm gonna clean up my airbrush We'll carry on. Okay, so once again, it wants this ladder uh, to be white. Uh, it wants the whole ladder to be white, but it wants the pipes around the ladder, these little indentations around the ladder, it wants them to be black. So I've shot the whole thing, obviously, with the Steino res, and I'm going to do the same procedures I did with the uh, other small piece. I'm going to hit this now with the white, um, and then uh, when that dries, I'm just going to come back over here um, and uh, take away uh, the, the white on the piping um, where, it, where it needs to be. But now what I like about this procedure too, and sadly, you know, you're not going to see any of it, but we'll know it's there, is that the, the inside of this, uh, the, the, the actual inside of this, is black because the white paint doesn't penetrate it and you get these lovely shadows so it's really nice for details like that I find on small boats and and and, and uh, even sometimes with figures um, it's interesting to paint the whole thing black first and then hit it with hit it down uh, with your flesh tones or your whites as you're building it up and you get those lovely drop shadows um, which you couldn't get with a brush I don't think so we're going to let that piece dry, um, and that will take care of that, and then we can put it in place. Um, uh, I'm not going to uh, uh, put the conning tower in just yet, uh, because it's going to be easier to prime the boat. So we're, we're, not going to, we're not going to glue the ladder in place just yet either. Now, um, for the purposes of this deck, it's just going to get many different shades of many different colors. And so it's got a black primer on it. And um, what I'm going to do now is, is I'm actually going to hit it with a little bit of this white. Um, just, just because, um, for no other reason, but um, what the white will do is when I start to add the other colors, it, it'll sort of blend with it. So now we're going to go to our Tamiya colors, um, and those are going to get brushed on. We're not going to air spray these on because we want a sort of rougher look to it. It's so small you're barely going to see it, but I think the result is going to be a lot of fun, and then we'll put a wash on that to finish it, to sort, of, sort of to age it down. So I'm just going to clean out this brush, and we'll carry on with this deck, this little deck. Okay, so... We're almost ready to reveal our piping on the ladder because we've chosen to put the ladder in. And if we look down and you see something, it's kind of cool. 
So we're going to carry on and we're going to make this wooden deck. Now, um, I always like to go from dark to light. Um, and so I'm going to start with this khaki. Um, and I'm going to take a little bit of it here on my brush and I'm going to just wipe it across the wipe it across these planks now obviously I'm deliberately being a little sloppy here you don't you know you, the idea here is to get some to get some coverage but uh, you know you, you want some some sort of some depth to it so we start with the khaki they're acrylics but they've got a lack of base to them so this is going to dry pretty quickly and uh, I'll just set that aside for a second let me get my my super secret to me a paint pot out so we clean our brush and then um, it's still it's still a little wet so I'm gonna let that keep drying and why why that's drying we can come back to our our ladder and then um, I'm gonna take a 600 grit little sanding stick here and um, I'm going to reveal these pipes so I'm gonna just gently rub here and um, up there and uh, you can see we've we've revealed our pipe uh, I'm going to touch this up with a little more black because uh, um, just to give it a little more shadow of a shadow effect and uh, I'll do that with the Steino res here and um, super fine detail brush and uh, we'll just get a little bit on this I like using these towels uh, because they allow me to just make a little bit of a mess on my work surface and um, I, I don't have to um, I don't have to worry about things getting spilled when I first started painting and, and learning the sort of my hobby um, I wouldn't really be that that neat you know we knock things over we knock glues over we knock paints over you've all done that we've all done that so one of my classic all-time stories for knocking something over was a uh, a little bottle of um, extra thin CA that's a lot of fun when you knock that over so there you go that is now finished and um, what I will do is I will hit that with just uh, a little bit of uh, matte varnish um, just so that um, I don't knock it or, 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 or chip it okay detail brush goes away and we can now come back to our beloved deck which is dry enough for us to carry on I'm going to go now to deck tan. It's the Tamiya XF55 deck tan. I'm going to now just put a little on my brush, take most of it off, and I'm going to uh, dab that across the deck. Um, and I think you can see already it, it's starting to, 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 to pick up this weathered look. Um, now I'm going to finish this with some Tamiya Clear. Now remember, this thing's been at sea. This is probably, I don't know if it's teak or what it would have been originally, but 
It's had salt water and boots and mud and crap all over it. So um, when you look at it, you want to be able to see the detail. So if it's flat, you'll see nothing. But if it's, if it's got this, this mottling to it, uh, you're, you're going to see quite a bit. Okay, I'm very happy with that. So we're going to let that dry. And then, um, after that has dried, we're going to um, use the uh, X26 Clear Orange, believe it or not. And you'll see what that, that actually does. It's going to give it a, a kind of wood grainy sheen. It's going to be kind of cool. And then when we're done with that and that's all dry, I'm going to finish it with this Ultimate Weathering Mud which um, we'll, we'll just, it's going to give it some great detail. Um, now, sadly, um, I, I, I can't get this anymore. So when this is finished, I don't know what I'm going to do. Panic, go fetal in the corner. I've looked for it everywhere. Um, it is water-based, and um, it, it, it's clay. And boy, does it work wonders on acrylic paints. Uh, with the oils, we know we've got to... Um, put a varnish down and um, there's certain lack of varnishes and acrylic lack of varnishes I mean there's so many different varnishes that sometimes when you're using oil on them the oil based products if it's not rock solid and, and, and you, you can't get the wash off and then you've got to put another matte coat over it so you've had several coats of gloss several coats of, of matte to get the desired effect and don't get me wrong um, you get some really wonderful effects with those kinds of washes, but um, for something just as tiny as this, um, boy, uh, do these uh, ultimate clay washes, they, they're just gold in my book. So um, we're going to let this dry, and uh, we will uh, come back and uh, continue uh, trying to get this deck finished. Um, which is going to ultimately sit on on top of our uh, conning tower here, which um, has yet to be glued together because um, I'm going to put in the ladder and then we will plow ahead, as they say. Okay? Okay, so now this is dry, this little deck piece. Um, I'm going to hit it with a little Tamiya X26 clear. And what this is going to do going to add a really cool kind of graining effect to this piece. I'm going to dab it on. Now don't worry about how orange it is because when this dries we're going to do something to that. But you want this to pop as I said. I don't want it to be subtle. Um, but um, in case you, you sort of just come through and you don't know what's going on here. I'm building the U9 from Dustworks um, with a slightly fantastical bent to the uh, paint job. It's going to be what I call camera reel as opposed to really, you know, what it might look like. Uh, I, I just like to heighten reality a little bit and add a certain element of fantasy to it, but that's just me. So that is now going to dry. I'm going to clean up my fingers and hands and we'll plow on. So we're at this stage with the small wooden deck and I'm going to add this mud wash to it. It's water based so pretty easy to work with. I like to use a soft brush and then something with a little more stippling to it. You'll see. So. We get this nice and muddy. Now, as I said, this is clay based, so you don't have the kind of issues on acrylics that you would have with oil based paints if they're not varnished. So I can move quite quickly with this stuff. Now, we're going to let it just dry, probably somewhere in the neighborhood of a couple of minutes, really. Uh, you can leave it up to half an hour. You'll see it's starting to dry. You can see it's taken on this really nice color which sort of lets you know that it's working. And then I'm gonna take a clean Q-tip and we're gonna just sort of rub this off, being careful to 
just to sort of dab it because you want you want that effect of um, muck and mud and if you don't like what you've got just let it dry and do it again but I'm very happy with that we'll just touch this up here just a little bit just to make it not so heavy and there you have it a wooden deck so we're going to let that dry again absolutely painless if you don't like what you've got just go back through the process again with your khaki uh, which is the XF49 the tan a little bit of the clear and then uh, a wash now I know some of you are saying well guys Phil I, I don't have the bloody wash am <laughs> I supposed to do this I understand. Um, you may be able to find it online, guys. I don't know. I'm not super great at being a sleuth about this sort of thing. And when I contacted Ultimate Models, they're just not shipping to the U U.S. right now. You might be able to find a friend in the U.K. who can buy it for you and then ship it. I don't know. Now, you certainly can use oils, uh, oil paints with a uh, thin down with a little bit. You certainly can. If you're going to do that, just hit this with a little clear coat. Let it dry overnight, then you should be able to do this. What I like about this is you get this really nice effect. So anyway, I'm going to let this dry, and then I'm going to hit this with a matte a varnish just, just to make sure that it stays on there. The other thing you could do, too, if you want to, if this, when this dries, guys, is if you don't want to use the oil-based finishes and you don't have the clay-based washes, go ahead and use um, your Tamiya's. It's item 87079. This is the one. And it has light sand, sand, and mud. In fact, I'm going to put a little on here myself just to show you. It actually works quite well. It's subtle, but it works quite well. You can pick it up with some of the lights too if you want to, even the rust sand. adds a nice finish to it. So anyway, that's a suggestion and it's another way to go. Okay, that is my deck. I'm very happy with that. We now have the Conning Tower top piece all glued in. There, there is this, as they say, there is that. <laughs> By the way, uh, some of you might hear some whirring in the background. It's my friends are going. Now you can hear the gardener going. Noises abound. I apologize. But anyway, we're, we're, doing, we're doing well here. Our ladder is painted white and ready to go per instructions. Our deck is ready to install, so that's good to go. The next thing um, we're going to move on to here is the back of the boat. So I'm just going to set these aside for a second. And we're going to go to the back of the boat. <laughs> 